You see that huge stain on my new dining room marble table? I'm going to do a DIY to try to remove this stain. Keep watching this video to see how it turned out. Hey YouTube. So I just got this new marble table literally yesterday, literally just 24 hours ago. And I put a vase right here on this table. I wiped the vase off with some soap and water because it was dusty. I'm gonna show you the vase. This is the vase, right? I got it from Wayfair. And this is how it looks at the bottom. It's like a felt piece at the bottom. And when I cleaned the dust off of it with soap and water, it must have gotten wet at the felt area and I didn't realize it. I placed it on this brand new marble table. I happened to just move it. I happened to just move it. I'm gonna think of it, I work from home so I have my laptops. I have my monitors here because I work from home. Hopefully when I move those, that's not an issue. But look, I just happened to move it to the side. I was wiping the table off. Look at this huge circle. I could not figure it out because the vase is not even that big, but I guess whatever was in the felt material, it kind of spread overnight. So I've been trying to research how to get this off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some peroxide and baking soda let it sit for 24 hours and oh my god I pray this comes off because I've been trying to use um, alcohol um, cleaning supplies and it's not working and I'm just like feeling sick to my stomach y'all so hopefully this works let me go ahead and get it set up now okay so just a quick backstory before I move on to the next portion of this video because I was so anxious I didn't even mention this so I researched on Google and on YouTube how to get stains out of marble tables and stone material tables and I came across a few videos that did say that baking soda and peroxide works and some other things so I just wanted to try this method so that that's what I'm going to do and that's why I'm doing it because I did a little bit of research okay so there's the stain right here I have some peroxide and I have some baking soda. Um, so she basically just kind of put, I don't know, maybe I should stir it in a bowl. How did that lady do it? I'm just gonna put it on there like this. I'm just gonna put the, the baking soda right on top of it and then squirt on the peroxide and just kind of take my hand and kind of pat it in there together and let it sit overnight and just pray for the best. Okay, so it has been 24 hours and I don't see that it has gotten better at all. The stain is still there. So I'm gonna have to try something else. I'm so disappointed. Um, so this for me was a fail. I don't see where it tried to get better at all. I don't even see where it looked like it tried to fade. I feel like this circle probably got bigger. So hopefully I can get this figured out because I love this table. I think it's really pretty, but this is just a distraction. Sure, I can figure out a centerpiece or something to put on it, but I don't want this on here. Okay, so fast forwarding a couple days, what I ended up doing was just wiping off the baking soda and wiping off the, um, the baking soda and the peroxide. I had got frustrated because I just, it just was, this, I wiped it and the stain was still there, but I didn't record it. So I just was like, I'll just wait it out and see. And then a couple days later, my husband told me it looked like the stain was fading, but I was like, oh, okay. I didn't pay much attention. But then a couple more days, I looked at it, and I was like, okay, where is the stain? And he told me that the stain disappeared, and I just didn't believe it. I kept thinking I was still seeing it. But as you can see, the stain that was right in the middle of the table is gone. You may see a reflection from my ring light or from the light, but there is no stain on this table anymore. 
and I just came and I just kept staring and staring and staring and the stain is gone. Now what I think it was, I think that it just needed to dry. But I'm not sure that if I wouldn't have put the baking soda and peroxide on that it would have dried if I would have just wiped it off from what the wet base left. So I'm not exactly sure if it was the peroxide and baking soda or if the tape would just need it to dry. I don't know. But it's still worth a try. I'm just extremely relieved that the stain is gone because it was really stressing me out. So this really ended well. So if you have a stain on your table or if it was wet, I guess you could let it dry. I guess what you could do is just allow it to dry. If you put something wet on it and maybe it was a, a vase like what I did that had that felt material on it, I guess you could just dry it off and give it a couple days. If not, try the baking soda and the peroxide and then you'll still have to let it dry, I'm assuming. I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm so happy because I was like really stressed out. So this ended well. And I'm just showing you that the table no longer has the stain on it. I'm just showing you that the table no longer has the stain on it. Thank God. It's gone. It was right here. About six to eight inches wide. It was huge. It was at least six. Yeah, it was about six or seven inches wide right there. And it's gone. So give that a try. And again, that's my little workstation there, but... And this is a pretty large table. I really like it, but the stain is gone. It's a really large table. I really like it, but the stain, it's gone. Check out our website, myworldradiance.com, and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron-on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MYROYALBEAUTY10 off. Check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers. Okay, so another thing that I did want to add, um, of course, thank you for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful. A few other things that I looked up on Google and other people did videos were saying that vinegar also helps remove stains. I'm not exactly sure, so use caution. And if you do these other DIYs, do a small area just in case because my biggest fear was making it worse. My biggest fear was making it worse. And another thing that I read was people were saying that they would try to use acetone, nail acetone, to try to remove stains from marble and quartz um, material as well. So also keep those in mind. But if you have a big stain, again, just try to test a small area out because you don't want to make it worse. Okay, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.